Okay, folks, uh, you're looking at two bags of corn seed. Uh, and I have a couple more bags of this decal. So I have four bags total, but I have these two bags here today. So let's talk about corn seed and what I don't know, because <laughs> I'm still learning. Uh, anyway, um, I thought I'd do a little video on the corn varieties I was planting and uh, let y'all see see that much. Go ahead and talk about it and uh, get that out of the way uh, because uh, I plan on using all of the seed, hopefully all the seed that I have got um, on the 10 acres that I'm planting. So I'm shooting uh, for a 32,000 seed per acre uh, planting rate. Uh, my my planter is currently calibrated close to 3,500-ish, uh, give or take. So it'll be over planting a hair from that, which is fine. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to plant exactly 10 acres. I'm going to leave a pathway around one side of the field. So that's going to reduce my acreage by a little bit. So, uh, because there's another field, you have to get to through that field. So, I'm going to leave a little bit around the edge. But, that should, these four bags, should plant what I need. So, uh, you're probably thinking, okay, why do I have two different varieties of corn seed for just 10 acres? Well, uh, a lot of you probably already know this that have dealt with corn. If you don't know this, I'll educate you. And I've be honest been learning on this myself um so this decal seed here is a 6435 uh, that was a recommendation given to me uh, and that's what i'm going with uh, i did a little research and looked at some um, previous uh, historical yield information on this variety it all looked pretty good for this area so uh of the two varieties I was given, I uh, decided to go with this one. Now, this seed is, and I don't know if I'm using the correct terms for it, but it has like a insect resistant uh, ability to it, a uh, trait per se. So when you use, and I think that's right, if you use this kind of seed there's a requirement now that if you plant this seed you have to plant either five percent or twenty percent of what's called a refuge corn which is what this bag is so it depends on what area you're in uh it's based off of and i cannot hardly read that but it, uh, i forget what the other area is called uh, but we are in a cotton, the 20% falls in a cotton area, a uh, cotton growing area, I think. I cannot read what that other one says. I forget what it is. But anyway, point being, I live in the area where you have to do the 20%. So out of four bags that it's going to take to do that 10 acres, I'll be planting approximately 25% of this refuge corn which will meet this requirement so that's just why i'm pointing that out so this is a cropland seed it's a cp 66 rr which is rounded ready um and again this was just i asked what was the best one to go with and this is what i was told to use i have not really researched this one uh, i've done most of my research on this so the bulk of my corn will be this variety, and then I'm going to have to plant. You can't mix them, I don't think. Uh, what research I've done on this refuge uh, requirement is you have to either plant it like a strip in the field or around the perimeter of the field or some section of the field has to be in this. So uh, my plan is to do it on the outside edges. Uh, right now because I'm going to do my end rows or headlands whatever you want to call it last uh, So I'm going to try to deplete this seed and then pick up with this seed until I ultimately should run out So that would give me 25% uh, 
the reason I went with the rate that I went with, uh, I was actually told to plant a little bit less rate, more around a 29,000 seed uh, per acre rate. Either way I did that, I was going to have to buy four bags of corn to get the amount of corn I needed. So I just decided, okay, what can I, if I just put the whole four bags out, uh, where will that put me? And that was at the 32,000 seed per acre mark. Uh, so there's 80,000 seed per bag uh, is how that works, uh, if you're wondering about the math. But... Uh, Anyway, that's what I decided to do. Now, I didn't want to, well, my first thoughts on that was, well, I don't want to put too much, and I don't think it will be, um, because I, I did some research, and I believe it was on this variety. I still looked at some graphs here on this decal, where they did test plots or fields at different rates uh, from like 20, I want to say 24, 25,000 seed to the acre all the way up to 30. 5,000 seed to the acre and there was a for the maximum yields was kind of in a range I believe from 30 to 32 somewhere in there seeds to the acre at a certain point at 32 to 33,000 I believe the graph dropped off uh, so I figured I'd be be okay there uh, and like I said this trial and error I don't know if I'll get all my seed planted perfectly this year I'm hoping so I think the planters gonna do a good job uh, but uh, that's what we're gonna put out there and we're gonna see see what happens uh, I just hated to uh, you know have like half a bag left over or more and I mean I guess I could hang on to it to next year but I thought, well, if I got it, I'll just put it out. So that's that's the plan. Uh, so to do that, this is going to give me about a six and a half inch spacing on my seeds uh, in the row, the space between each seed, uh, which I'm going to, uh, I've already done a calibration on the planter, and I'm right in that uh, 6.4, 6.5 inch mark but i haven't done it actually on the ground yet uh that's something that if the rain holds off here i'm going to get out and do that and actually do a little bitty strip on top of the ground and get out and actually look and measure where the seeds are and then i feel the real good confidence that the planter the planter is set where it needs to be and i have my brush setting on my precision meter set where it needs to be for the size of seed. So I, I've already opened up one bag of this seed because I had to get some seed for the calibration. This bag I have not, I've not looked at these seeds yet. Uh, but there is an, uh, there is gonna be a difference in the size and shape of these, well, I don't shape, there's gonna be a difference in these seeds, I'll tell you why. I know this is upside down, but this bag, the decal is 40 and a half pounds. This bag, is 57 pounds so uh point there is uh i may have to make a brush setting change on my corn meters when i go to this but i'll probably just wait i can do that in the field real quick uh and uh that'll be what it'll be but anyway uh, that's the corn varieties I'm going with so uh, I just wanted to kind of talk them over I know some people are going to ask that question at some point especially if I do infield planting videos so I thought hey let's just go ahead and do a video and get this out of the way uh, so there you go I'm going to shut up uh, get this seed back in the shed before it starts raining and um, I got some other stuff to take care of as you can see uh, oh, I got some cheap salt blocks here. <laughs> they were broken, and they were trying to get rid of them. So, two dollars each for a salt block. Um, anyway, gotta get this stuff out of the truck too. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. See ya.